Hello everyone, ZBA049 here, and welcome back to another episode of A Dreadful Journey featuring AM2R episode number 23. I am completely calm this time. I'm no longer afraid. I am 100% intact with my morality standards of keeping a complete, a complete, clear mind and a gentle act with my, with my movements and always be prepared to expect the unexpected from here on out. Samus seems to disagree on the things that I just said, so, uh, yeah, let's just move on. Oh, sorry about that there, uh, Rock Eye Cycle. I didn't even notice you there. Actually, I did, but, uh, you were in my way, so, uh, perish. Perish if thou wilt. Paris, do what thou wilt, and, and do what thou wilt, and, and, and ye shall receive pure satisfaction. Oh, man. Destroying those green colored, those emerald colored crystals with the super missile. Well, they're, well, they're specifically designed for them because, you know, green. That was a waste of a super missile, but that was just there for demonstration. But here we go. Into the cavernous depths of the mining facility of SR388. And this layout is a lot more luxurious in texture. And speaking of environment, let's go take a look at the information about it. New logbook entry, the mining facility. Cordite crystals, cordite crystals are one of the most durable, naturally forming crystals in the galaxy. Though they are not as hard as diamonds, this makes them a more malleable, so, a more malleable, 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 I'm pretty sure it's pronounced malleable, resource. The Chozo found various practical uses for cordite in constructing machinery or producing works of art. This mining facility supplies cordite and various other minerals to the nearby industrial complex. AKA the place that I will never revisit ever again in this entire playthrough. And, and for, for, for the rest of this playthrough for as long as I play this game. And we have, oh wow, I didn't even notice this. It seems as though that uh, in every environment you go inside, uh, these Septogs also, uh, change in design, matching the, uh, design of the area itself. So, we saw one in the, uh, we, we saw one in the darkness environment, we saw one in the, uh, we saw one in the hydro environment, and we saw one in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, I think it was like, uh, the, uh, the golden ruins. Golden ruins? Jo golden, golden? I think it's called golden ruins. Chosen, whatever, just call it chosen ruins. And here, they're covered in crystals. And there's still place in here for decoration purposes. And, oh, jeez, I kind of feel bad doing this because it's it's, it's, try, it's trying to keep itself afloat. Look, look at its wing down there. It's struggling, struggling to, back up, to, to get back up. Don't worry, you're fine. I still wonder if I can actually kill you. Nope, they're ver nope, they are completely indestructible. Unless I use a power bomb. Nope. Well, that was a morph ball bomb, not a power bomb. But uh, yeah, very nice detail. I like that. All right, and uh, now we're greeted with the um, the the ever so popular multos. Now, if only if I had the oh jeez, they actually jump on, they actually jump. Okay, I didn't notice that. The ever so popular multos for Metroid Fusion, and also it makes a return, and also and also makes a return in well, you know, Samus Returns. And in there, uh, they're a lot more deadly and, uh, more, you know, fun to, f actually more fun to encounter because of how dangerous they are. Looks like we can't go through there yet because, uh, there's a rock in the way, blocking progress. I'm gonna go check the report, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check the performance real quick, give me a second. Always can't hurt, double check. Yep, it's all stable. Except with the uh, noticeable flickering that I just cut out, the, the, the noticeable flickering of the audio that I just cut out, just to, uh, you know. Okay, Paris, I thought, I'm just gonna go kick these guys' asses. Yes, let's go! Goodbye, 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 goodbye. And... Uh, hold on a second. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. I I felt I I thought for sure there was like some kind of like uh, there was like going to be some kind of like um, I don't know, like a speed boost uh block for me to fall into. But no, it was just it was, it was just more breakable blocks. 
But here, let us activate the drill machine. I guess you could call this the beta digger knot. Because it digs. And it is the uh, and is and is the juggernaut of a machine that digs inside. Well, digs inside the ground in search of in search of malleable resources like this super missile right over here that we cannot destroy because it's because because it's in our way. Not to worry. Somewhere I eh, don't know where. Some no, not there. Somewhere above or below. Above or below? I don't know. Uh, somewhere above or below is where we can... Up! Oh, right down here. Where we can go straight underneath and destroy the super missile right up here. And continue digging. I'm gonna... Uh, can, can I... I, I, I I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit finicky on the controls here. Oops. I forgot a little bit of the controls because I didn't because I did not actually play this game yesterday as much as I wanted to, you know, the day before after uploading the last the last video. But no, this is the day after tomorrow that I started recording this. So yeah, you get the idea. All right, dig in a little bit deeper inside the complex and all right. Of course, I already know what to do in here. Easy peasy. Never mind. Hold on a second. I feel the speed booster in here is a little bit tricky. Oh wait, never mind. But hold on a second. Is that a speed boost chain? It's a ramp right here. Does that mean it leads to something else over, like somewhere to the right? Okay. Another one right here. Oh, it's a safe station, so I'll take that. Thanks. We got some uh, bioluminescent uh, plants on the uh, ceiling and grass that have th 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 that are in the exact same style as the emeralds inside the terrain. Very nice. Very beautiful, actually. And more terrain. Oh, energy pattern scan. Two Metroids detected in the area. Looks like a deceased Galactic Federation soldier. Why are there arrows pointing at it? And I was pointing at... What? Oh my god! I didn't even know that! This is so cool! You can actually... You can actually scan the deceased bioforms of Galactic Federation Marines by just standing right... It's an automatic scan feature when you're just standing right in front of it. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I gotta see this. Okay, uh, where is it though? Native species trooper logs. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's quite the yeah, that's quite the cataclysmic design you put it there for the uh, for the logo of the Federation in Prime Two. It's yeah, even the like even the symbol itself looks deceased. SPCF Mac. The campsite's done for. Oh my god, this is so cool. Just just read their backstory on how they died. Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna read through this. Sorry. S S P C F Mac. The campsite's the campsite's done for Blaine as well. We ran for the elevator when a jellyfish Metroid got the drop on him. That idiot shoved a demolition bomb in it th that idiot shoved a demolition bomb in its mouth. Next thing I know, I'm knocked off my feet. Ele elevators covered in rubble, and Metroid casually floats off. Damn it, Blaine. Our tech doesn't work like errands! But I didn't let it leave my sight. Tr but I didn't leave my s- But I didn't let it leave my sight. Trailed it till it laid down and changed color. It's payback time. Looks like this uh, trooper's promise of redemption failed to uh, attain. Just- Just failed to- Just- Just failed to attain. Poor guy. But still, it's but still, it's really, really, really fucking cool to like have automatic scan feature to like you know have more detail on the Galactic Federation in this game. That's so cool. And also, Colby. Oh no, never mind. Uh, I, I, I I completely forgot. 
the flits in this game are a lot more different than the original because you don't use them as platforms. You just use as uh, the the same infant Metroids from uh, from Metroid Fusion actually, because uh, they just slip right off of you when you touch them. They're not using platform. Oh no! Ah, never mind. You always seem to prove me wrong, you son of a bitch. Okay, Gamma, get over here. Up. Ah. Okay, come here. I know just what to do. Come here. Ha <laughs> ha! The perfect strategy of taking care of Gamma Metroids. Why didn't I think of that before? I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know what made me think that I didn't, but I didn't. Oh well. And also, shame that I can't... Whoa! Okay! <laughs> That's not what I meant to do, but, uh, I guess that works. <laughs> the speed... The speed boost straight through the freaking... Straight... Speed boost straight through the freaking molten lava... Oh, jeez. Speed boost straight through the freaking lava. Instead of just speed boost, speed boost across it. Oh, damn it. Try that again. Alright, I got this. Come here. Okay. Nothing will slow me down. Not even you. See ya! Woo! Ah, dang it. Right over here, I'm pretty sure I'm fighting uh, another Gamma or Alpha. Yeah, it's an Alpha. Come here, Alpha. Oh, you son of a bitch. Come here, Alpha. You're not going to be an Omega no matter no, no matter how hard you try. I'll destroy your life before it's complete. There we go, got it. One super missile and two normal missiles to take down a to take down a uh, a a um substantially well developed Alpha Metroid shrimp legs. Substantially well developed shrimp legs Alpha Metroid. And that's all the Metroids inside this area. Now it's time to delve a little bit more deeper in where are we going again? Oh no, a second. Give me a second. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go clear the empty spot if it's the, the last thing I do. Cause you know me. It's worth it, okay? There I go, I cleared it. It's worth the pain and suffering that I must endure by walking through this unknown, unknown liquid. What the fuck is it? Stop, stop reproducing. It... I just obtained a rupee. I just obtained a rupee for the baby septog. Oh, very nice. But not nice enough because uh, there is no such thing as currency in the Metroid in the Metroid universe. Only death. And exploration. Death, exploration, and fun. That's all you're gonna go find in the series. There's no currency. You can't buy anything. Unless it's the game. Unless it's the game in question. Oh sure, way to ruin my fun there. If I recall correctly, there might be some uh, hidden pick up somewhere. I don't know where. That's the problem. There has to be. There has to be. But there isn't. And I'm a little bit upset that there isn't. But uh, I might look it up later. But I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to waste my time. Just trying to figure out if there is any or not. Okay, now I think about it, there might, there might be some. Uh, no, I thought for sure there was like, there was like some kind of hole in the ceiling there, but no. Nope, not even there. Don't mind me! Ah, man. I would be genuinely surprised if I like uh, accidentally got a, 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 a if, if I actually got if I accidentally got a pickup that actually required a, a speed boost a, a speed boost uh, space jump speed boost space jump 
speed boost space but speed boost space jump technique it would have been cool if i actually got something there but nah i might who knows i might be wrong there might have been something over there that that, that that i missed for certain however i am for certain that i did miss a couple pickups right up here so let's go get some before it fights some more metroid let's go get some more pickups we're starting with what's on the uh what's over there won't really take all that long Whee! Ah, rock icicle. Quote unquote rock and quote unquote icicle. Just hit me. Alright, nothing over there. I don't think. I'm not trying to like uh, get every uh, pickup in the game. I just want to get like more super missiles because I only got three of them. Hello, enemies that I mistook as uh, sea rooks. Uh, hello, enemies that I mistook as dribbles. Those are the sea rooks. Please forgive me for mistaking your name. Though to make this a little bit more interesting, since there really is no use, uh, since there really is no use to like uh, use the uh, uh, space jump all that much, let's go turn it off. Yep, just like in Super Metroid, you are able to turn off your abilities one by one, even the various suit. I'm pretty sure. Wait, I'm not quite. I'm not quite sure if he actually can like uh, turn off. Uh, your powers or something like morpho bombs or something like that you probably can but nah. I want to see if this is actually possible give me a second okay I got this all right Well, I'm stuck, but it was nice. It was an it was a worthy attempt. But give me a second. I'll t I'll fine. I'll turn back. I'll turn on the space jump again. Get back up. Get back up there, please. Ariel got it. Got the missile expansion. There really is. Wait, wait there's actually more in here. What the hell? Well, don't mind if I freaking do. Oh, what do you know? I got it. Got more missiles and uh, no super missiles, but, but oh well. That's nice anyway. What else am I missing? Uh, let's see. Uh, there might be something there in the, uh, I don't know. On my ship? I'm gonna go check to make sure. Way to ruin my fun there again. I can't believe you would do this. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that's something new. The area is time-based. I never noticed that. Holy shit! The setting actually changes. I never noticed that! Wow, this game has everything after all! That's incredible! Holy shit, the detail is outstanding! It's dusk outside in SR388! The setting actually changes over time the further you, the further you go into this game! Does that mean it actually changes, like, uh, when you're, like, close to beating it? Like, it's nighttime? That is outstanding. I know I'm obviously going the wrong way, but I just want to take a closer look at things. And, of course, another variant of Septogs. That is so cool. I never noticed this before. It might be a new... It might be a new... It might be a new detail in, in like, one of the latest versions of the game, but... Wow! I'm so glad I revisited my- I'm so glad I revisited my ship! What a beautiful horizon! That is gorgeous! Wow! 
And of course I can't go through there because that's where I get the infant Metroid and all, but... Whoa. That is an outstanding sight to behold. I'm so glad I came over here. I'm so glad I came here. I'm suddenly, I'm suddenly, I'm suddenly some kind of meteor. But I'm a comet. Samus is a comet. I'm gonna do that again. That's definitely gonna hurt me. Ow. Too far. Hello, Septog. I wonder what's down here. Looks like there's something down here, but I, I don't. It doesn't look like there is. No, there's nothing there. Surprisingly not. Oh no, it's gonna be wrong. Nope, there's nothing there. No area to climb in. Nope, no, nothing, nothing to crawl into. Nope. It's just there for decoration. Either that or Septogs uh, themselves might uh, like have access to uh, like uh, protecting key secret areas. So perhaps so. Maybe there is something here. Uh, nope. Now that I can recall. All right, back to adventure. Let's go. Uh, can I please do the speed booster? Okay, fine. That's all right. Nice to see you again, Yumbos. I didn't mean to kill you. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll make you respawn. I'll make you respawn. Don't worry. You're in good hands with me, good old little Yumbo. I'll leave the Hornos alone, too. They don't deserve to die. I'm gonna go take the secret shortcut. Not exactly secret, but... Uh, it's a it's a hidden path that is a hidden path to a shortcut. Perfect for speed runs too. Ah dang! I touched a wall. All right. Back to the lowest part of the surface we go. You know, it kind of sucks that you can't activate the speed booster when you're just simply in more fall mode. But oh well. Can't win them all. Huh. That leads to practically nothing. Hello, Sea Rooks. Goodbye, Sea Rooks. I won't be seeing you for a very long time unless I want to get out of this planet. Not yet. I'm having too much fun. This is my new home. Despite the fact that it's Metroid infested. I'll tell them to go away via eviction notice. If if that's... Or, or maybe black, blackmail eviction. I don't know. Whatever it is. I'll tell them to leave. Leave the pre... And that is also a... Uh, and that is also a new dime for the Scorps. They're actual saws. They're actual buzz saws for once. Instead of just, you know... Yeah, they don't even look like cactuses anymore. I mean, the Scorps in uh, in in an older version of say in, in, in an older version of uh, of Aim to R was a lot more authentic to uh, the artwork, but this one is a lot more uh, is a lot more authentic uh, with the uh, with the physics of saws. So that's pretty cool. I wonder how much damage they deal. I'd assume enough. Oh my God! Uh, yeah. Uh, go. Don't don't, don't leave me alone, please. Close one. Moto, go away. Got the moto. Wait. Do they actually have sound effects? Nah, no they don't. Careful of the scorps. Careful of the scorps. There are plenty of them. Moto, die please. Thank you. Alright. I'm gonna go to the right first. Ah, damn it. I thought for sure I'd squeeze underneath there, but no. A little bit too small. At least they're easier to see. But they're still really annoying, as, as they always were. 
Right down here. Oh, God. I don't know where this leads to. Uh, should I go to the right or should I go to the left first? I'm pretty sure to the left is a save station, so I'm going to go get that first. Yeah. Eh. Whee! Oh my god, they deal tremendous amounts of damage now. That's not gonna be annoying or anything. No, not so- Yep, yeah, I was right, safe station. Probably should have went to the left in the first place, but oh well. At least I'm going the right way. Ow. Ow. Just tank it and go for it anyway. They're not that much of a problem yet. Unless I'm uh, severely low in unless I'm severely low in HP. Whee! All right, let's go. Oh yeah, also uh, somewhere all the way down here is a uh, is a speed boost uh, chain area. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this. I, I know where this is. I, I, I know where this goes. I think it's either to the right or to the left that, that holds the, that holds a secret down here. That's ah, right. Up, oh, it's right over there. Got it. All right, cool. It's, it, this is it. This, this is easy. This is easy. Don't worry. This is easy. All right. Just gotta be extremely wary on. Uh... Actually, no. It's a little bit tricky because it's because it's very precise. Ah, damn it. There we go, got it. And it's in the lava of all places. Okay. What if I'm missing anything else? Nope, that's it. Got, got the missile expansion I was looking for. Good thing I remembered that. Yep, Septogs are just there for, for, for just Septogs are just there for decoration. Meanwhile. Hey, look at that! There's this there's the screaks. They looks they it looks like they don't even have any feet on them anymore. And they're a lot more cuter. Actually, they're not real more cuter, but they still got the little wiggling animations. Halzins are Halzins definitely have taken have, have taken a significant improvement. They they, they have more uh, 3D animation textures. 3D animation textures right here. It's pretty cool. But unfortunately, uh, they're still they're still designed they're still designed the same in, in every other game. So this is going to be a little bit annoying. That hasn't changed. Just blowing the just I don't know, just like a just blowing the wings off, just shreds. Six Metroids in this area. And they infinitely respawn whenever you approach them. Oh god. No, not when you approach them, when they see you. Okay. Speed booster or Okay, not speed booster. Just, 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 just knock the, just knock it down. Oh God! All right, we made it inside the. I'm pretty sure this is like the sub level, sub level five of SR388. And we are greeted with the uh, with retro, with retro, um, with retro lower Norfair synthesized soundtrack and aim to our. However, this is only beginning because we have yet to enter inside a building to face off against a a really annoying boss fight. Albeit creative. Oh god. Is it a gamma or a zeta? Please tell please please be a gamma. 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 It's a fucking zeta. Kill me. No, I don't want to get killed by the zeta. I'll kill you first! I'll kill you first before you kill me, you son of a bitch. The Zeta Metroid. After a substantial transformation of his body, the Metroid's power and defenses greatly improve. Though the Zeta Metroid can no longer fly due to, due to its immense weight, its new legs are strong enough to carry it and perform great bursts of speed. The arms can deliver powerful strikes, and its mouth glands can spray a highly corrosive substance. Its two prior forms were akin to a pupil phase. Discarding the Gamma Metroid's exoskeleton marked the beginning of its adulthood. So yeah, basically this is uh this is a uh, an adult wannabe. A wannabe adult of a Metroid. They can ram you and whoa. 
nice after effects i not like, a, like nice after images with the with the charging animation but you're still really fucking annoying because you want to know why oh my god oh my god how many how many freaking missiles does it take for you to, to take the take this thing down well i assume not that much because i have super missiles but still And they deflect the freaking incoming missiles. Preemptively. And also randomly. Good thing they're not really all that violent. They're still... They're, they're, their AI is extremely predictable, but they're still really annoying to take care of. All I do is just walk back and forth and just... Just want to... Just want to... Just wanna, just want to like a smack you into the wall. Oh wow, perfect time, perfect timing. Remember what I said of how time-consuming Zetas really take to kill and aim to R? Well, now, well, this this is the reason why. Well, to be fair, I had super missiles, but without them, uh, they're pr they take a long damn time to kill. Okay, that was it. Okay, that was incredibly damn satisfying. I'm glad I pulled that off. Oh no, the Helsins! I forgot that. I forgot the Helsins like uh like go after you now in here. All right, another Gamma Metroid. Damn it! No! 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 Reset your HP! Don't reset your HP, please! Please do not reset your HP! I don't want you to reset your HP! It pro probably did anyway. Oh well. Oh my god. Come here. No! Get up there! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I accidentally did, uh, like, uh, restore its HP by, by exiting out of the damn area. So, yeah, thank you for that, you stupid gamma. Don't make me break you. There we go, got him. Finally. Well, that was a waste of super missiles. Nah. Can't kill no 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 I forgot how annoying these guys uh AI was too I'll be taking that thank you though Hey full refund Oh man oh there we go I'm out of here Pretty soon we're gonna Oh shit where's the nearest safe station All the way up there are you kidding me that's alright Up Energy with these sources, how does that? Energy with these sources. Energy with these are, yay. That's barely anything. Hey, pitcher fly. There we go. Good pitcher fly. More pitcher flies. Give me, give me your HP. There we go. No, 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 I don't want that. No, give me, give me. There we go. There we go. Good pitcher fly. That's another good pitcher fly. You're really, you're really generous. If I do say so myself, and you're just a little, you're still, you still, you still kind of creep me out, not gonna lie. All the way up here is where we find some more. No, 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 go away. Hey, more health, got it. I'm just gonna go focus my effort. Oh, there we go, safe station. Ah, what a relief. And I got like uh, four more Metroids to kill in this area, and after that, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go uh, like a. Uh, actually, I am. I am going to end the episode as soon as I as soon as I like uh, fight the tester, or where? Uh, oh, more log, more log entries, scanning. JFRJ Nolan, most sentient species of the Federation, regard the extinct Harmonious Chozo with utmost respect, and is an example of what of what any civilization drowning in violence should strive to become. But this tower I've scanned, 
a dedicated weapons factory certainly puts that view into question, yet I remain positive. Surely, the Chosen resorted to this resorted to this when they discovered the Metroids in SR388. Any pacifist would after any pacifist would after facing any pacifist would after facing those monsters. The climb was certainly worth the view. It's a shame my colleagues aren't alive to see this. S S P. Oh, wait! Wait! Hold on a second. It's in order. Oh my God! The freaking log entries for the Galactic Federation soldiers are actually in order. It's actually in order. That is so cool. Oh man! So much detail, and so much bullshit when I'm fighting fighting a fucking Zeta Metroid. I think. Zeta Metroid, Gamma Metroid, Zeta, Gamma, Gamma. Get the fuck out of here. And give me more of your anal JD solstice if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Alright. This area is, is going surprisingly swimmingly. Actually. Lee Lee Lee. Anything else? Whoa! That's also new! Gigantic Chozo statues on top of a building. I gotta see this. Well, after I want to take care of these stupid ass motos. And also the Halzins. I gotta see this. I really gotta see this. All right, clearing the area. All right, I'll clear. I gotta see this. Makes me wonder of how long it took. It makes me wonder of how long it took for uh, the designers to finish this magnificent work of art. What are they holding on to? It looks like is it looks like that they're uh, holding on to uh, the um, uh, the planet of SR388 itself, and it, and and it also looks like they're in their Chozo battle armor too. That's something you don't see every day. That's so cool. It really give. It really does give. I don't know, like a, It really does like a, give the uh, Chozo civilization. Uh, Aspect of like a like, like just just make the chosen civilization aspect f more make it more fleshed out in this game than anywhere else. Other than statues, you, other than statues to like uh to worship their existence and also praise their and also praise their once prosperous civilization. In here, it's a lot more noticeable and clear that their civilization was once a great one. That is so cool. This art could never go in a museum. Because it's already here. This is a museum. This game is the museum. This is the entire... Oh, God. This is the part of where I get stuck in the original game. A uh, missile tank and an energy tank. Eh, not too shabby. I got it. Because, you know, lighting effects. More easier to see. Even though the maze is significantly more longer. Besides, I already got it. I already got the missile expansion. I, I know I didn't. I missed it. Fuck. Ah, I missed it. All right, from now on, I'm just gonna go like use the use a spider ball to get up there. There we go. Got it. I'm willing to bet that there was a collapsing block right down here. Yeah, I was right. Well, it's a good thing I noticed it in time. Now, where in the hell do I get that energy tank? Oh, wait, never mind. I already found it. And it's significantly more easier to get. But can I get out of here? Nah, I can't. That's fine. Pretty sure there's a shortcut here. 
Nah, there isn't. Yeah, this might be a while. Actually, I'm already out. I'm literally already out. There we go. To the left. Oh. Okay. Down here. Around. Up. And jump out. And we're back home. Oh, shit. Not right. Up. Oh. Sorry, Mojo. Didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, wait. Never mind. I actually did. I actually did mean to disturb you. So, therefore... You must die. And thank you for the free and, and, and thank you for the uh, and, and thank you for the full refund of super missiles that I just shot at your ass. So, yeah, thanks for that too. And thank you, Septog, for making my climbing ethics a lot more easier. Oh, this looks familiar. Yeah, it's that one missile expansion that I completely forgot to get in the original game, and I got it in here. Because, you know, it's more easier to see. No, no, go away. Ah. Anything in this? Ow. They're right here. Hello, goodbye. Even more of a, even more of a frontier treatment, even, even more of the zenith treatment. With the, uh, with the spiky areas. Ha ha, you're trapped. You can't do it. Hey, I forgot I could do that. I sh I should not have underestimated you. But you also should never underestimate me. There I go, got him. Got him right before the area could, could turn hazardous. It's a bit of a dick move there, uh, Dr. M64. But, uh, I didn't fall for it this time because I killed him. Because I killed him just as quickly. Alright, I'm pretty sure the I'm pretty sure the last two Metroids are inside the building, so that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. But uh for right now, I'm just gonna go like uh just do a little bit more. Uh a little more area discovering inside, you know, the area, so that way, I, that way I actually get everything. And what's in here? Oh, it's another Metroid. Ah, no, it's even bigger. That's fine. Rip keyboard users, aka me in the past. I don't know why I said my ego. That didn't make sense. Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Turn around! Oh my god. I forgot how annoying this particular Zeta Metroid was. Because he's completely invulnerable when- Wait, wait, is he invulnerable? I'll check that out. Yeah, he's completely invulnerable when he's, when he's about to jump. Ah, no, acid. But he's also kind of stupid. What are you even trying to accomplish here? Ow. There's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, threatening prowess when it comes to, uh, the Omega Metroid at the end of- hey! At the end of Omega- Ow! Yeah. Oh, jeez. At the end of, uh, at the end of Fusion. But I really can't wait to- Ow! Forgot- Can't wait to- Whoa! No, don't do that. Oh, fuck you two. Turn around. Oh, come on. Like, that is fair. Come on. This might be, this might take a while. I really do not like fighting Zetas. That hasn't changed at all. Oh, my God. You literally just have to like uh, like kill them like us uh, just kill Zetas while standing in place But that's not how I roll. I just want to kill them as quickly as possible. Ah Fuck you two Dude die already Just die already you son of a bitch Finally holy crap Okay 
Now it's actually one more Metro to take care of, and I'm pretty sure it's another Gamma or Zeta inside the building where the tester lies in wait. And I'm also pretty sure the uh, power is turned off inside, so we're in for a real treat. Anything I'm missing? Down here? No. Is it just me, or am I suddenly a lot more better at getting used to the physics of, uh, of the wall jump in, uh, in, in, in aim to r Okay, maybe it is me. I guess it can, I guess you can call that a practice session in that, in that one moment, eh there, Adam? You know exactly what I'm talking about. One little practice session by the time I eventually play Fusion. Eh! Eventually play Fusion. Nice dodge. Nope. Goodbye. Ow. Alright, safe station is up there. No, it's down here. Ow. Can I go down? There we go. Alright, that would have to conclude the end of this episode of AM2R, the dreadful, okay, a, a, a dreadful journey featuring AM2R episode number 23. Hope to see you again in the next one when we go inside the building, inside the whatever, whatever sub-level this is. I'm pretty sure it's like level number four or five i keep on losing track but you get the idea we're gonna go face off against a tester real soon and that and, and we're in for a real treat from there so uh yeah zetas are becoming more prominent in this area so yeah i'm not i'm not fond of fighting zetas at all because you know i didn't have enough super missiles and they're very time consuming not and they're very annoying actually more annoying than the more annoying than they were in the original game but yeah you get the idea but but yeah, in conclusion, that's the end of this episode. I'll we'll see you again in the next one. Thank you, for, thank, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. This is GBA049 signing out, going offline, and see you next mission.